This court really proved Oscar Wilde's uh, rule that the only way to be rid of temptation is to yield to it. Uh, because the court has done everything short of ordering that Trump be thrown into a wood chipper. I mean, he, he he's imposed a, almost the maximum amount uh, that James requested. He's barring him from doing business in a city where he's an iconic business figure, uh, barring him from getting loans. That last part is particularly ironic because the banks not only said they were not victims and did not complain about the alleged fraud, but they said they wanted to do more or business with Trump, that they described him as a whale client. And so this is all being done essentially in their name as victims, even though no one lost any money. None of us could find a case like this. Uh, and yet the first one, you have this uh, fortune that is being uh, demanded uh, by the court uh, to be turned over. Uh, I think there are real problems here. I think that this is going to uh, have the same impact on some appellate judges. There have to be some limits, including constitutional limits, on the size of penalties. This is confiscatory, and in my view, uh, uh, just excessive. Uh, you know, so I think there's a major appeal, obviously, that's going to 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 come. Hey, folks, you old pal, Chicago Ray. Uh, I've been on the radio talking talking to drivers for about. The last hour, hour 15 minutes, and uh, I'm talking to at least 10 drivers going the other way. I'm heading down from South Wisconsin, and uh, they're going to start refusing loads in New York City starting on Monday. All right? Uh, I got about three drivers that I drive with. They already vibrated the boss and told them they ain't going to New York City. So... I, I don't know uh, how far across the country this is or how many truckers are going to start denying loads to go going to New York City. But uh, I'll tell you what, you fuck around and find out, okay? We're tired of you motherfucking leftists fucking with Trump, okay? You know, motherfuckers are starting to get tired of this shit. And, and you know, our bosses ain't going to care if we deny the loads. We'll just go somewhere else. All right? You know how fucking hard it is to get into New York City with one of these motherfuckers? Man, fuck that. All right? I'll tell you. I, 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 I don't wish nothing on nobody, but... By what I'm hearing, this is real. This, you know, we'll see. But, you know, leave Trump the fuck alone with the bullshit. All right? You know, he, you, know you ain't got shit on Trump, so cut the bullshit. He's going to win this motherfucker on appeal, but it's still, you know, it's bullshit. It's election interference. So... We'll see what happens. I ain't, you know, I hate to say it, man, but motherfucking truckers are, uh, truckers are for Trump, man. I mean, we're like 95, 96% out here, all Trump. Ain't no motherfuckers for Biden. All right, man. Uh, I'll let you know what else I hear by, you know, by the time Monday rolls around, but... Breaking news, guys, out of New York. Check this out. Truckers are now refusing to deliver goods to New York. After the court ruled Trump had to pay over $350 million in fraud, which is total BS, the strike is set to commence on Monday, and it, it proves successful. It could potentially incur billions of dollars in losses for the city. Guys, I've already been on chatter with a bunch of these people this is already happening there's already truckers already pulling out of new york and rerouting going into new york they're not taking this anymore to new york they've had enough the people have had enough it's about time these truckers are about to stand up if you're in new york you better 
pack up. You better make sure you've got goods and whatever you need for the next few days because they're about to shut y'all down because they're tired of all the government BS. When you're going to make this crazy rulings like this, you're going to have to expect consequences from the American people. And I do believe that they're about to stand up and say they're done. They've had enough. This is the turning point, guys. They're about to shut New York down for real. Whether you love or hate the man, there is this incessant witch hunt for Donald Trump. And it's looking like truckers are getting ready to strike on Monday regarding what New York just did. I've said it before, and I don't love Trump, but do I agree with a lot of his policies and what he says? Yes, maybe not in the way that he says them, of course. But it's kind of like the video says, like, there just seems to be this extreme. There's definitely a witch hunt and people are seeing it. It's, it's too much. Like when is enough? Trump. <laughs> Trump.